Ladies and gentlemen, you are now tuning in to the undefeated Mustache John. Hey there folks, thanks for tuning in. Mustache John here. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the English Premier League Match Day 10. We'll be doing a little preview of each match, taking a look at the betting odds. I'll let you know what my predictions are. I'll let you know what I think are some safe bets. I think I got three or four good picks for you this week. Uh, it is Thanksgiving week here in America, so I'm getting this video out early so I can enjoy the holiday off. Hopefully you all get some time with your families. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of my predictions, and then of course let me know how you did last week. If you saw that video, I think I was maybe 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10, something like that. Not too shabby. So uh, like I said, I got three or four good ones for you this week. Let's see what we got going on, folks. All right, this week we got definitely some straightforward matches uh, and some tricky ones too. So let's see if I can navigate our way through this. Uh, right off the bat, we got a Friday match, a little bit tricky. Crystal Palace hosting Newcastle. Uh, historically, their last five matches or so, they've, they've traded results. Crystal Palace is further up in the table this year. They're at home, a plus 130. I don't hate it. Um, Mm, but let's 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 keep on moving before I, I say you know that's one of the ones that I want to focus on for this weekend. Let, let's keep it moving. But I will say Crystal Palace probably gets the win in this one. Uh, being at home, the fact that they usually trade results, I'm thinking Crystal Palace for this one. We'll we'll do a review to see if I want to actually put money on that one though. A little straightforward here. Liverpool going to Brighton. I know Brighton have a pretty pacey attack, you know, punches chance, but Liverpool getting Mo Salah back for this one. In fact, uh, Jurgen Klopp said that he might be fit for the Wednesday Champions League match. So added boost for Liverpool. Even though they're away from home, I think they get a win there. Minus 165. That's a little bit out of my range for what I like to bet on uh, in terms of just the odds and the return, making sure the juice is worth the squeeze as they say, so I'm going to pass on that one, but Liverpool get the victory. Another straightforward one here, Man City hosting Burnley. That's cut and dry. Man City get that win all day unless something crazy happens, but at a minus 575, I'm not touching that one. Everton coming off of a win. They were able to turn things around after, I think, three losses in a row. So minus 105, that is going to be one that gets my attention. We'll see if it makes my, my top three or four picks for this week, but Everton at a minus 105 hosting Leeds. I think Leeds is going to leave themselves a little bit too open uh, on their counterattack. I think Everton are going to take advantage of that. So let's keep an eye on that match for sure. West Brom and Sheffield. Battle of the bottom two. Uh, West Brom should get a win being at home. Plus 160. Not too shabby. But boy, both teams are such hot garbage. I don't trust that either of them are going to get a goal in this one. It could end up nil-nil. Even though I'm tempted with the plus 160 for West Brom being at home and getting a victory, I'm going to pass on this one because I think it is going to be a nil-nil. This one could be sneaky, folks. Southampton hosting Manchester United. Manchester United have been pretty inconsistent. They're playing well right now, but Southampton haven't been beaten in their last five. So I'm thinking plus 290, that's enough to get my attention there and my curiosity. <laughs> so I think... I think a plus 290 there, probably going to throw some money that way. Might might make it in. Then we got our best match, possibly, potentially, of the weekend. Chelsea hosting Spurs. Uh, we got Mourinho going to face one of his former players in Frank Lampard. So Frankie hopefully has Mourinho figured out by this time. He's played against him. He's coached against him several times now. Christian Pulisic should be fit for this one. Frank said he is going to be available. I don't think he gets the start. But I do think Pulisic comes on to help Chelsea get a 2-1 victory, either a goal or assist. I got Chelsea in this one at a plus 110. I like it. I like that one, folks. Then we've got two of the most inconsistent teams <laughs> this year playing each other. Arsenal hosting Wolves. Uh, who knows? Literally, who knows for this one? Either team could show up and look like the 2008 Barcelona or look like the current Barcelona <laughs> to give you that both ends of the spectrum. Who knows? So Arsenal plus 105, Wolves plus 280. Go with your gut on that one. I mean, if if I'm chasing losses, I'm going to throw some money at Wolves. Uh, I usually try to stay away from Arsenal matches in particular, so I'll probably stay away from that one. I think Arsenal get the win at home, but if I'm chasing losses, I'd probably throw money on Wolves just because who knows? Who knows? Leicester hosting Fulham. This one, again, should be pretty cut and dry. Leicester overperforming uh, for what their roster should be and their aging striker and Jamie Vardy, but Jamie Vardy, excuse me, but you just can't stop them. 
can't stop the Vardy party. So minus 190, mm, don't like it. Little too much, a uh, little too, little too steep for me. So not a good enough return. I'm gonna pass on that Leicester win. And then I know I said last week that Villa were being underrated. The odds were great. They were going to get a win. I was wrong. That was one of the two or three that I missed out on. But I'm saying it again this week. Villa away, plus 205, going to West Ham. I like Villa in this one. I think the juice is worth the squeeze. Uh, so I'm, I'm going, that's the last match of the weekend. So I'm going Villa, put some money on that, plus 205 over West Ham. I'm saying take Chelsea at a plus 110 over Spurs. And this is even after Spurs just uh, took out Man City 2-0. I even called that one. I said Spurs were going to score two goals and get the win. Uh, so even with that said, I'm going Chelsea in this one. <sighs> Hold off on Southampton for now. Let me see what else I got. I'm going Everton at a minus 105. And then if you want to be sneaky, folks, get that Southampton win at a plus 290. All right? So there's three or four good ones for you. Let me know down in the comments what you think. If you watched last week's video, let me know how you did. If you followed my advice or not, just let me know. We'll start a conversation. Uh, in the meantime, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the undefeated mustache John. You can message me on there. Make sure you like the post. That helps me out, get some, some momentum going so more people can see it, be part of the conversation. As always, folks, thank you for tuning in and taking a ride. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. I'll catch you all next time.